John sent us here at Cutter Nation Baseball. We're going to be going over the most important thing to get the most accurate readings that you can for the Pitch Logic Baseball. Okay, so the setup that we have right now is we have the Pitch Logic ball that is not connected to the iPad. The iPad is screen mirroring to the Apple TV that's being displayed here, right? You can see that there is no connection. We have no age and we have no pitch count right here on the screen, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the ball off right here, okay? And we're gonna place it directly next to the iPad and then we are going to hit the connection button now that it's there. Now notice that it's a slightly off color green, okay? So we're gonna pull it away. Once I have it and I hold it for a second. Once your pitch logic ball is connected, you'll read okay. Once it reads okay, you need to come set for a half a second and then you can throw the ball. You can do pitches, you can do drills, you can do anything that has 12 to 15 feet in front of it, and you should get all the data off the ball. The big difference when you're doing your drills with this logic ball like you do, all right? No matter what drill I'm doing, whether I'm doing K drill, a lean back, a rocker, I have to hold it for two seconds, and then I need to start the drill. Okay, so by using this pitch logic ball and making sure that when you're doing your drills or you're actually throwing to a catcher, if you slow down and give yourself two seconds and don't move the ball for two seconds, you're gonna increase your chances of your accuracy readings and you're gonna be a lot happier with your numbers. So we're using this ball a lot. And if you have any questions about this ball, DM us, email, contact us any way you know, and we're trying to help everybody right now.